Okay, dude, this is freaking sweet. We got Huey, Dewey, and Louie right here. We got the princesses right here. Oh, that's the one, dude. Look at this, like the history of Yeah, that's the one we're getting. Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And today is going to be an amazing, amazing day because we are going hunting, of course. But we have at our disposal the number one coolest, I mean, I've never met anybody cooler, coolest living being around. Oh, stole it. She's so cool. It's frost to the touch. Brian's showing the image and there's a, there's a fog on the screen from the coldness. Oh yeah. Like liquid nitrogen, negative 357. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you guys are, you know the drill. Coolness flip. I'll take that. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Red Pack, because your boy is here. And today, you're gonna have an amazing, cool day. Every time I can make cool references. It's yeah, I've like, been noticing you've been doing that. <laughs> We're going to TJ Maxx today. And I don't know why, I've never been to any of these department stores, but TJ Maxx, I'm really excited to go to because that's just like the sickest name ever. First off, anybody who's got a name with two letters in it, automatically cool, AJ, TJ. Well, usually those are like abbreviations, right? You know, like TJ, like Tom Jerry. Nobody just puts TJ on the birth certificate. You're telling me every JB I've met of it wasn't just JB? A little bit. Wow. Okay, well not just that. The next part of the name is a map. That's the end of the volume on a radio. <laughs> Can't get any louder. Like, that's cool. Yeah, Max, short for Maximilian. One of the best Yu-Gi-Oh characters. <laughs> And also Goofy's son. I mean, you can't get all these cool things together and not be a good store, right? So today we're going to TJ Maxx. We're going to be hunting for, of course, Nickelodeon stuff, anything cartoon related, light 90s related, early 2000s related, any of that awesome stuff that fits the vibe. We're going to head into the car right now and head over there. Hopefully we can find some awesome stuff. Let's get over there. Yes, you've just unlocked me. I am a playable character, your local homeless person. <laughs> right now, we're gonna be heading over to the cool guy's house, Mr. TJ Max. I don't have any crazy expectations. I've never been to this store before. Like these hand movements? Yeah, let's head over there. All right, guys, headed into TJ Max. Let's do it. We just got in here. We already got a freaking Michelangelo shirt, which is sweet. We're gonna leave this. But check down there, you see what oh, I see? Yeah, big old <laughs> yeah. Chucky. I'm still looking for the rocket power one, which has Reggie and Otto on it. If we could find that, that would be sweet. But if we just get something awesome today, that works too. So it turns out they don't actually have my size in this one, but I did fit in the large last time. So if I can't find anything else, we'll try and put this one on. But let's look around, maybe we can find one my size. I've always been looking for a pair of Kim Possible pants. Bro, honestly, that is it. I need to find a black holter job. If only I was just a little bit smaller. A lot of bit smaller. You call me fat? You tall and grow me black. What? <laughs> Okay guys, we didn't find anything in the toy section. We're gonna go look around the whole store. If we don't find anything else, there's also a Burlington Coat Factory, so we might finish it up over there. So far, we haven't found anything in TJ Maxx, but dude, they have this, which is cool, but it's 10 bucks, which like the other mugs we got at freaking Ross for like $3, $4. Oh yeah. But what I do think is sick is this gold PlayStation Damn. Control. <laughs> that thing isn't trippy. Yeah, no, that's sick. How much is this guy? Freaking still 10 bucks. All right, what do you think though, between the two? Honestly? Yeah, the PlayStation 1 PlayStation one. RGD2. PlayStation 1. PlayStation, okay, I'm getting PlayStation then. Let's do it. Okay, guys, we're gonna get these two. I think they have these at five below, but we've never picked them up, so we're gonna grab these two. It's five and above. Okay, guys, so right now we're heading to the Burlington Co. Factory. I don't know if we're gonna find more there, but we only found two items at the TJ Maxx. We're also gonna be going to Marshalls, Ross, all the other stuff, so make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already, because we found way more stuff at Ross. But we're going to Burlington, see if we can finish up for this haul. We're gonna head back to the cavern. His face though. I think that'll come up. What is that? Blue Boo, Boo Brown? <laughs> Why, dude? That could be a doggy shape for all I know. Yeah. All right, let's do the shirt lick test. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, what's on my <laughs> shirt now? Oh, did I didn't think it was to come up. All right. This is so sick though. You can put coins in it and mail. You have to try I me. Mean, this is so dope to go in the room because you guys know we have a little Blues Clues collection. We already have like some other items like that. This is only $9, so we might pick this up because we're kind of desperate for items today. I mean, you guys wanted to go with TJ Maxx. I think Ross was better. Okay, dude, this is freaking sweet. We got Huey, Dewey, and Louie right here with Donald and Daisy over here. And we got, yeah. okay, that's a little unfair. You got Big Goofy against <laughs> them three as your add-on. I mean, come on. 
freaking 16 bucks though? I don't know. What do you think? Let's just keep looking through these. Hey, hold up. Is this accurate with, the, with their measurements? Because like, I'm, I'm like, I'm a giant. No, Parker, this goes higher up on the wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no Batman's five foot? <laughs> Feeling a little taller if Dave Mama just passed Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we got the princesses right here. Oh, spell down. Oh, that's the one, dude. Look at this, like the history of it. Yeah, them. that's the one we're getting. Yeah, all the way down here to modern day Mickey, man. We got Fantasia over here. We got freaking Steamboat Willie. We got that thing. <laughs> How to kill. <laughs> Oh man, dude, let's see what else they got. Elsa's only a foot away from Batman. That's pretty good. And then we got the Spider-Man one too. This one is dope. I kinda like this, like these little strip designs. Yeah, you know? I'm getting this one for sure. We're gonna keep looking through these. Oh dude, check out this freaking multi-piece one right here with Mickey and Mickey. this guy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about this freaking boo-boo brown. <laughs> And then we got, oh, dude, come on, these are dope. We have so many good ones here. Oh, that one's sick. Oh, yeah, no, that one's no, that sick. That one's sicker. Yeah, that one's sicker. Dude, there is, like, if you're just trying to, like, decorate your room, Disney especially, this is a place to come. These are not even that expensive. I think it's, like, this one's gonna be 16 bucks, which is not bad for a piece of canvas artwork. We're definitely gonna be picking this guy up. Do you guys know how much we love animation on this channel? And there's nothing more historic in animation than Mickey Mouse, almost. Well, maybe, maybe Oswald. Okay, and then right here, we got the freaking 90s shirt, but this is nice. medium. We're we're getting all the come up. We'll see if we can find some stuff in my size today. Well, none of these are. They're all medium. But look at how many options they have. I'll make it work. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to be medium? Dude, I can't find them. Well, you, Bruh. do you want this one? Because no. I know you, that's kind of your. That's yeah. not my thing. <laughs> Please don't make that my thing. <laughs> oh, you got a cut off tee? Wait, what? What happened to the rest of it? I'm about to be Homer and Moo Moo because we got this one. It's a little Damn. bit it's been big for me. It's three eggs. Hey, man. You barely do eggs. I'm trying to be a little naughty today with a triple X, okay? We got another triple X. But we're so... You guys shouldn't have suggested TJ Max. We're strapped out here trying to find stuff. But the thing is, is like, I kind of like it. You'd Sleep be shirt. a walking shamrock shape. I like that. I think I want to do that. It's not like McDonald's is machines working. You ever want to look like the credits for SpongeBob? Dun, 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 dun. Or you ever want to look like a, a Krusty Krab pizza box? <laughs> Okay, looking through really thoroughly, we found two more. I'm just gonna get that shirt because I love the Flintstones. Grew up watching that on Boomerang. And then boom, we got the Rocco's Modern Life shirt and a large too. So we found some stuff. Let's go ahead and head out of here, head back to the cavern. Like I said, if you stop anywhere else, I'll let you guys know. Okay guys, so it was a different day. We have all the stuff back from TJ Maxx and some stuff from Burlington too. Cause like I said, we went to TJ Maxx and there wasn't enough stuff to finish it up there. But we did go to the Burlington Coat Factory and we definitely found a lot of stuff there. Like I couldn't believe how much stuff that we actually found on the way out, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Towards the checkout, that's where we found so much stuff. I don't even know if we filmed every single thing we found at the checkout, but we're gonna get into all this stuff right now. Let's add it to the collection. Let's do it. Okay, so we went to TJ Maxx. The first thing we got was BAM! I feel like I should be bald, at least 250, and have an all white BMW. Oh, yeah. And this is my damn morning cup of Joe. <laughs> it's fancy, baby. This right here, dude, is freaking sick. We're kind of building a little bit of a PlayStation collection, I guess you could say, because it's another PlayStation item, but it's from Marshalls. So if you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed. You're not going to miss that video. And also make sure you're following the Comfort Cartoons Instagram. You guys are absolutely loving all the different pictures I'm putting over there. So make sure you guys go follow and I greatly appreciate it. But anyway, like I was saying, the freaking mug is damn sick. We got the PlayStation controller right there, all gold. Like I said in the Ross video, man, I'm kind of getting a little bit of a mug collection here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Dying up quick. Yeah, I know. I just didn't think like, I mean, the Nickelodeon was made stuff. I just never knew I had a PlayStation controller, but you throw gold on something and I'm, I'm there for it. All right, next item. We got out of here. Turn around. We gotta go for the double swoosh. Cosmo, Wanda. I wish. I wish for a swish. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not a swish, and it wasn't two, but I think Cosmo you, wasn't paying attention. I think you should take it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got here is the Blues Clues figures, which I'm actually really, really hyped on these. I like them a lot. The only thing is we paid like $6 for them, and I'm pretty sure they came from Five Below. Like, when you get your inventory in, and it says Five Below, what makes you think five ninety nine? Like, why? They're like, well, they couldn't sell it for five. What if we sell it for more? <laughs> I didn't realize what kind of commodity they got here. <laughs> no, but I absolutely used to love Shovel and Pell when I was a kid. I mean, 
mean, all the actual characters from Blue's Clues are just adorable. So we got to add that to our little Blue's Clues collection we got down there. And we have a little bit of it going up there. And we have another item added to the Blue's Clues collection too. So we'll add all of that today. So that was all at TJ Maxx? You were it? <laughs> I mean, that gold really made up for it. <laughs> I know, that was the only Nickelodeon item they had at TJ Maxx. I would not recommend TJ Maxx. I would definitely say probably Burlington or Ross. Ross was really, really packed. And Marshalls, if you're looking for like a higher quality stuff, like there was some nicer stuff, but less stuff. All right, so these were freaking grail for me because in the collection, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to find stuff right now. You have to bear with me. All right, They're, they've been bearing. Thank you. Mama Bear would be proud. Thank you so much, little bears. But we have this one. This is the only one that we have, Five Below. We actually did a video where I picked this one up. And since then, they have not restocked an app, Five Below. And this is not the only, Oh! You put a booger on the back of this? I did. That's disgusting. But right here we have Tommy. I did not have the other ones to this set, but at Barlington, the Park Oak Factory, we found Chucky and we also found Angelica. So we got the whole crew right there. I really would have loved it. They would have made a reptar for this set as well but we did get the whole freaking crew right here besides phil and lil but i mean maybe they'll come in a two-pack one day only like a darth maul pop-up with just two suckers on the side <laughs> And then also another one, dude. If you check out over here, we have the magenta down there. But since we had the magenta, we got that. Do you remember where we got that? That seems like a five below item. No, we got that at the sweet factory of the mall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you went there to get, like, actual candy. A big bag. Dude, have you ever seen a bigger bag of candy? Look, I robbed a bank of Willy Wonka. <laughs> but we got the freaking blue one now. I couldn't believe we found this. That was awesome. We got to get, like, so many different items to close up the collection. And then last item, I just grabbed this because we don't have this in the collection. And again, we're trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob collection. So anytime we can add a new product for cheap, we got the dual pack right here of the Pezzes. As you guys know, we have the entire Pez sets already. And we even have the gold one that was pulled in the channel. But we did not have this dual pack. So that's technically a different product. And I mean, if it was like something else, I probably wouldn't buy it. But SpongeBob, like they could have made these empty with just the logo there. And I would probably still buy it. You know? I mean, hey, it's another addition for the world record. Yeah, that would have been a misprint. <laughs> All right. So last item here before we get into some clothes items here is this mailbox. And I got to say, I tried my best to clean it up and it is not cleaned up the best. It's not bad though. And the side is, you know, a little bit clean too. And this sticker is super bad. I even tried to remove it. So I'm going to have to like go out of my way to get like some goo off or gunk off, or whatever they call it, and get that off, which I'm going to do. But for right now, we're going to put in the collection that I already have a place for it. You see where those two Funko Pops are, the blue ones? Of course. We're going to put the mailbox right up there, man. Next okay. To the blue. But what I love about this is for one, you know, you know, usually it's just me and Parker in this room. So it's like, you know, it'd be kind of cool when it comes in here and be like, M-A-L-E, you get it? Not Oh, I get it. Yeah. The bros, you know what I'm saying? No, no, not, no, no, we let anybody in here, okay? It doesn't matter if you're female, but usually, mail time. time. <laughs> But what I loved about it, I was like, okay, for nine bucks, it's kind of cool. It has the phrases and whatnot. I got the actual mailbox lid you can pull down. And you can actually bring his whole face down, dude, and get inside of it. So this is an awesome storage item to have in the collection. But it came with these little letters, dude, that are so freaking cute because they're the ones from the show. Do you remember these, dude? He'd pop it open, and then it would be like a screen, and they would show like a little clip of some kind. I do remember. That, that. was my favorite part of the show was like, mail time. And he's like, they open it up, and you're like, Whoa, what is gonna happen? This is so uncannon. <laughs> you know, what's gonna go on here? We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Oh, look, it's a letter from our friends. All right, so we got all these different letters. Let's pop them all open. I don't know if it does anything in particular with them, but on the backs of them, we got magenta right there, which I think we have a lunchbox that actually features that same artwork. We got shovel and bucket, and then we got the soap right there, which is freaking sweet. And then I think that his name is like, or no, I think his name is just orange. But let's go ahead and put these in and see if it does anything special when you put them in, because it's like a perfect slide for it. Okay, so you just fill them up. So it's just pretty much like, okay, I'm filling up your mail and then you put it down. So it's just kind of to have like a little bit of like a figure aspect to it. I think what I'm gonna be using this for to kind of put collectibles and other stuff inside of the room that we don't have space for. Just an awesome little space to put stuff in. And that for sure is gonna be going up there. Okay, so I mean, Burlington was was pretty awesome. And it, dude, look at these. This is like pretty unique. You ended up getting those? Yeah, I did get these. I saw Squidward and I was like, he's doing the freaking thing. He's doing it. <laughs> like literally only his headshot, he's doing the thing. How much money can one company make off of one image? <laughs> I'm so curious. They've probably made millions off of that singular image. Like, I don't doubt that. But like, is there a better image that encapsulates him as a character? I'm starting to think no, Parker. I'm starting to be beaten into submission and say no. <laughs> this is the best and only image they have of him. 
All right, so we got these, which is I absolutely love them. They're super soft on the inside. And I just got these because we got a lot of socks and these are about the same price as a sock and they were kind of unique. We find socks kind of commonly, but these are pretty unique and I really like them. They're kind of a uh, pastel, you'd say? Yeah, I'd say that. Do you agree with that or are you just saying that? I would say that, I don't know. I don't know about colors. Well, you would say a lot of things, I feel like. What are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. I feel like you're gonna throw those at me. I feel like you're right. Oh. And then we got some Scooby Dooby Doo socks, which this was a freaking sweet deal. And I will actually be wearing these ones. But the Nickelodeon ones, I don't wear them because it's kind of just like, a, I almost can't bring myself to ruin the collectability of it. But with Scooby Doo, I mean, I, as you guys know, I don't collect Scooby Doo stuff. Like, I don't collect anything Scooby Doo. I just try my best to avoid collecting anything Scooby Doo. So I'm going to get these to wear. What? The, I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. Okay, if you say so. Mystery solved. So those are freaking sweet. How many pairs are even in there? Six, man. Why couldn't they just give me one more? for the week. But that's still cool. You complained about that? Well, you get that for five bucks? I know, Sunday's God's Day. <laughs> Not Scooby's. <laughs> and Chick-fil-A's day. They're, they're off on Sundays. It's a... I was a curse, but it's a shame. That's what you want the most. But right here, we got another pair of socks. We got the Reptar ones, which are freaking sweet as well. And then we got a Chucky pair on the other side. Like I said, guys, I have so many Nickelodeon socks. It's unbelievable. So let's go ahead and add these to the collection. And then we got a couple shirts in here. So I ended up leaving the Flintstone shirt because like on the sleeve somewhere, it looked like literally like a motorbike ran over it. Not like a big motorbike, but like one of those little tiny ones you see guys on the side of the road. And you're like, where do you even get that thing? So I got the Rocco shirt right here though. I like it, pretty nice. It's down there maybe my favorite color, but let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, I like the way larges fit on me, but at the same time, man, I don't like the way they react in the washes. They always be shrinking. <laughs> it's always turned to mediums. But I mean, I gotta say, I kinda like the mint. Now that I have it on, I don't hate it. I wouldn't yeah. say it's mint, I'd say it's light blue, that's mint. My only thing about it is, doesn't it feel like the design's like shifted to the right? It feels like it's a little high and to my left, your right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's displaced. So I mean, maybe that's why it ended up kind of at maybe like a discount store, but either way, it's brand new and it's awesome for the collection. And it shows off your love for Rocco's Modern Life. And it's not like a shirt color that you see all the time. So it's a nice fun vibe. And then we got this, which was a Rugrats shirt. It's a triple X. I'm still gonna try it on because maybe I can still use it as a sleep shirt, but let's check it out. And maybe because I'm like tall, but I feel like it doesn't look that bad. That looks super 90s. It's like an <laughs> oversized shirt, you got a freaking beanie on. Yeah, it's like my dad's shirt or something. You know, like when you're a kid and you like borrow your dad's t-shirt or like your uncle's or something. But yeah, the big shirt kind of gives it that 90s. You gotta sag my pants until my ass show. Yeah, now I feel like I'm in 2002, dude. Give me a cap. Oh, my do-rag's already on, dude. There we go. I have two forms of headwear. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, bro, boy? Yo, here again. Them. Now with that, it looks like your legs are so much shorter. Now you just look like you're eight years old wearing like adult clothes. <laughs> Parker, that would be cool, man. So here we go. We got the drip. I gotta say, I think I'm gonna start wearing triple X's, man. Really? Because I can start doing this and leaning back. <laughs> and that's gonna be every photo from now on. <laughs> every photo I'm in until I'm 45 will be just like this. All right, let me switch back into my normal attire and let's finish this up. All right, so we are back now and we have one item left and that is probably my favorite piece we got today. The Mickey Mouse like generational canvas, I guess you could say. $15 for an amazing canvas, really, really high quality. You have all the different Mickey comic books in the back down there as you guys can see. And then not just that, like I said, it starts from the beginning right here all the way down till Mickey today, but that's not even really Mickey today. That's kind of like the 90s, 2000s Mickey, which is really what made me get it because it didn't like, you know, it didn't turn to CG. Like literally that's the Mickey that I grew up with was like the one, you know, from Fantasia and like the Mickey's House of Villains. That was the stuff that I grew up on. So this is freaking sweet that it ends over there and this is going to be going inside my house. But that is actually everything here, guys. That was an amazing trip at TJ Maxx and Burlington. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Scan it. Alright guys, so we added the mailbox right up there. That is super cool for me because like I said, growing up, Blue's Clues, he was actually like, probably like now that I think about it, my favorite character. Maybe not him, but the segments themselves are my favorite. So that's awesome to have up there now, right next to Blue. Let's keep on adding. And then these guys right here, Tommy was in the collection and these now are in the collection, but I'm gonna be hanging them up in here in the room somewhere. I just don't know right now. So we'll find out in the future. Alright guys, so that was actually it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here and make sure you guys are following the comfort cartoons instagram on screen but check out this video on your screen right here which is the last epic hunt i know you're gonna love it i'll see you guys over there and as always rep pack i'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios